Hey everyone, this is Just For Fun giving you another Funko Pop video review. For today, we have number 277 from Pop Rides, 1950s Batmobile. Now let's check out the packaging. So we have gold linings and we have Pop Rides, the Bat symbol, and number 277. So for the bottom part, we have the Funko Art of the 1950s Batmobile, the label, and the Batman 80 Years logo. I believe this pop comes from the TV series before, not quite sure. And for the right side, we have the Pop Rides logo. We have the 1950s Batmobile label, we have the number 277 with the gold designs and the Funko Art. And for the other side, we have the Pop Rides, the gold linings, number 277, the Funko Art, the DC logo, and the Batman 8 years. And for the back part, we have the gold linings, we have Pop Rides, we also have the Bat symbol, number 277, and the DC Superheroes logo. And for the other half, we have the glossy Funko Art of the Batmobile, its label, the Batman 8 years, and some details below. And for the top part, we have the Funko Art of the Batmobile again, the Funko logo on the right, and at the top, the Pop Rides, and we have a window at the middle. And here's the bottom part. Now let's take out the 1950s Batmobile out of its packaging. It does come with an insert card that looks like Gotham's silhouette. And here's the 1950s Batman in his 1950s Batmobile. This Funko Pop comes with a 360 articulation on its neck. But it can't go full rotation because it bumps something at the back. So it's really not a good design from Funko. And if you're curious about the wheels, it doesn't spin or rotate or do anything. And now let's check out the Funko Pop itself. The paint job is pretty decent. I love the sculpting. Everything looks good for the Funko head. And for the side and the back of its head, it's a bit simple, just a plain light blue matte paint. And for the arms and the body, I'm not sure if you can see through it that much, but it does have the fins. It's well sculpted and the paint job in the body is okay. And here's the front side. As you can see, the sculpting on his hands looks okay as well. But yeah, here's the front side of the Batmobile. I love the uh, lights there, the white and the yellow. I love that there are eyes in the middle that looks like uh, Batman's uh, cowl. And there are some linings designs on the hood. It looks okay. And for the back side of the Batmobile, we have a see-through plastic window. So that's good. And we have the fin. It's sculpted well, painted well. It's a bit sturdy, so that's good. And then we have some kind of light here and then another see-through window. And for the insides, as you can see, there's like a bat monitor there. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. And there's something there. I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, but it looks like flasks. Here's a better view. I'm sorry, I really don't know what these are. But it really looks like flasks. And for the back side, it has like uh, jet boosters. And the silver bumper with two red lights. And for the bottom part, there's just one of two things that you'll notice. First is the under part of the silver bumper at the front. And a bunch of production codes in the middle. Also, I think it's worth pointing out that there are four screws here. Um, it's up to you if you'd like to disassemble it. So yeah, overall, I think it's a really good pop ride. And here's Batman doing a really cool pose. And another one. This is a must-have, especially if you're a Batmobile collector. Thanks everyone. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Peace!